WEMF Radio. Base Soul, take one. one. Okay, everything sucks Your today. attitude sucks today. You know what? Everything sucks! My whole life sucks. The fuck? <laughs> yeah. It really sucks. <laughs> This sucks more than anything that I've ever sucked before. How about I make the song of a screaming eagle? That ah! well, this sucks! Forget it, I quit. I can't do this anymore, man. My head's about to explode. My whole life sucks. Yeah, Mo, that team threw to suck last night. They just played sucked. Well, I've seen teams suck before, but they were the suckiest bunch of sucks that ever sucked. Show sucks! MF Radio. WEMF. Presented by the Sound Museum Boston. Show sucks. Show sucks. The show sucks. Welcome. <clears throat> Episode number two. I can't believe it. It's amazing. We, we didn't get canceled. Yeah. <laughs> We're still here. It's unbelievable. Yeah. Well, the show's called Show Sucks, so we kind of gave a little leeway. The, ra- the ratings were through the roof on the first one. We got a lot of feedback. Yeah. A lot so, of good feedback. And we have uh, we have Jonah Jenkins here today. Hi there. Yeah. Jonah Very is nice. Yay. Clappy claps. <laughs> <laughs> so we got Doug Sherman, Daryl Shepard. I'm Daryl. Dave, the man, Jarvis, the chief. <laughs> I'm Mike Nashawati. Thanks for listening. We have a lot to talk about today. Yeah, we got what do we got, Doug, today? We got all kinds of stuff. Balls, we have, balls, right? We have a lot of balls to talk about today. Yep. We'll be discussing that. We have Jonah who's going to be here. He's going to be talking about you know, recipes and the music he's been involved with, and you know, just his uh, his his mark on the Boston music scene and uh, you know, in general. And we also have some current topics. We're drinking a lot of uh, special drinks yeah. that he's brought. He's brought in that super are non groups. non-alcoholic super groups. Yeah, lots of lots of new super groups to talk about. Amazing cologne from uh, Metal Dudes. <laughs> Which would be so much happening in the world. It's unbelievable. It, it's it, been a crazy. Yeah. It's been a crazy and exhausting week. Yeah. So with that, um, here's our raw radar war. Oh yeah, deflated balls. Ball talk. Ball talk. Let's just get this out of the way. So ball gate. Know. Why is it called ball gate? I don't know. That's semi- yeah, it's, better than, it's better than deflate gate, I think. Ball gate? No? Semi offensive, don't you think? Ball guys. Yeah, do I? Th- of course I think that. <laughs> so today, um, so th- so this week, the the past went. You know, as a past fan, we went through like an you know kind of ups and downs. Crazy emotional week. I'm exhausted. I'm sure you guys are exhausted about hearing about this. But of course, the past got accused of um, cheating. Um, it's total BS. <laughs> it is total BS. I'm just going to yeah. come on and say it. Um, the, the thing that really aggravates me the most is, you know, just you know the fact that a lot of the Patriot fans um, who, who claim they are fans are kind of turning their backs on uh, this amazing team, um, and, and it's pretty frustrating. But what's going to happen is next Sunday they're going to Arizona. They're going to win. My prediction is um, thirty to seven. That's my prediction. Wow, really? Boom! It's going to be a blowout. Pat's going to win. No, f- <laughs> um, some fines will be levied against them. They're going to lose a draft pick. Yeah. that's all I'm going for. Pat, I, I gotta say, man, I've been listening. I've literally all week at work. I've been listening to sports radio all, constantly. I'm obsessed with this. It's crazy. And I gotta say that at this point, I think Belichick and Brady are both geniuses. <laughs> They're yeah. both like, I don't know anything. I don't know anything. No. Nope. What's a ball? I don't know. <laughs> they don't know anything. You know, they don't know anything at all. <laughs> Nothing. Yep. I just Brilliant. Think, I think Brilliant. it's the staff above them just creating a war so we have an actual battle of a game. I don't even think it has anything to do with the <laughs> I balls. Agree. Yeah. I agree. I think that they both made I think that the Patriots made it all up so that, that people would not concentrate on them being the uh, being the better team in the Super Bowl. Exactly. I agree. Well, I think we'll see if it works. I think it's going to work. It's all conspiracy. It's, yeah. But it's, all, it's all good, man. I'm actually physically exhausted from this. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, if, if you're a pa- or any kind of fan, like I, I, everyone is just sick and tired of it. Every yeah. everybody talked about it. Yeah, it's been even brutal. Jonah was saying to us before the show started. Even on NPR, they had an article about it. Yeah. NPR had an article about deflated balls. That's yeah. unbelievable. Well, I mean, balls are a big topic right now, man. I love balls. Yeah. <clears throat> deflated balls. There you we know. go. Overinflated balls. So, so they inflated the balls in a hot room. 
Right. Yeah, see, that, that was one of the theories. Someone was floating this theory that the, the balls were originally inflated, inflated in a room that was like 100 degrees. First of all, I don't know if there is a room that's 100 degrees they really have a at Gillette Stadium. They have a sauna. And then, <laughs> and then they took the balls out of the room. And then that's when they, you know, they lost some PSI. Right. You know what I mean? So that's mm. one theory going around. Right. Which is just, you know, and I don't then, know if the Patriots have a secret room that's 100 degrees. They do. They of course do? they do. Really? Okay. Yeah, sure. Because they had air shrinkage. That's where, yeah. Is that where Giselle <laughs> hangs degrees. out? Giselle hangs out there during yeah. the game, you know? In the sauna. There, there is air shrinkage. Okay. I wonder what Giselle thinks of this. She, uh, Giselle's been very quiet about the balls, you know? She, 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 she's been known to be very quiet about yeah. the balls. Yeah, yeah. I'd was, like to hear what she has to say about Tom's balls. <laughs> They're very nice. I see where this is going. Okay, so that's it. <laughs> so that's, I'm that's done. Insane. I'm done. Okay. Yeah. Anyways, Pats game. are gonna win. We're all about this. Yeah. Hopefully, yeah. Uh, we'll be celebrating. Right, we're gonna move on to other uh, more important topics. Yeah. What do we KK, got? KK Downing. There we go. Judas Priest. Amazing Ooh. guitar player. Yep. I jump his dunes. <laughs> <laughs> What's he up to now, Doug? He uh, he has a new cologne out. Excellent. I swear. It smells like metal. It is actually. It's called Metal for Men. That's awesome. Oh, there we go. I'm not even joking. I know you're not joking. I think I think this is fine. Okay. I, I know I know you're probably like <laughs> hating on it maybe a little bit, but no. I, if Justin Bieber can have a scent, why can't Kate yeah. Downing have a yeah. scent? Well, what every, is everyone's got a scent. They just don't always sell it. <laughs> <laughs> if, if somebody wanted mine, I would I'd bottle it and sell yeah. it. Why not? Yeah. I'd there love need, you a scent. There needs to be a scent for older metal gentlemen. Ooh. And this is what the, the market, it's a niche right. market. So what, you know? what, what do you think it actually smells like? What's your, uh, what do you think? This could smell like kind of like maybe like cheese and like maybe sweaty leather. <laughs> you know, something like that. Nice. Maybe, yeah. maybe some beer mixed in. So I was going to save this for later, but I think it, 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 it's appropriate to bring this up now. I, I have a special treat for you guys later on. Yes. And it's it's uh, it's from a very famous uh, soccer player. Um, uh Giuseppe Picari. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> uh, he, he has these special sweatbands made that absorb his sweat after practices, yep. and, and they bottle it, and they sell it. And people, it's, it's his sweat? <laughs> what? Yeah, it's his sweat. Yeah, we can drink it today. Awesome. Oh, my God. Yes. That's, a, that's amazing. <laughs> so there we go. I just We're, gagged. Oh, what, uh, <laughs> that is Do you know uh, So look. he plays for an Italian so, team, I assume? You Someone's know what? Some I, really bad gas, man. What's going on here, man? Smells. We need some uh, perfume. I'm not actually sure what team he's on because I don't know anything about soccer. Right? Yeah, me neither. So he's the, an Italian gentleman, so I'm assuming that he probably plays for an Italian. So team, that's but. there's actual sweat in the in the water. There isn't. There uh, is. Oh, no, there is. Yeah, oh, yeah there, there is. is. Yeah, yeah. So he's a soccer player. He sweats. They bottle it, and people drink this. Right. Exactly. But, it says non carbonated soft drink. Yep. <laughs> wow. This is, this is horrible. I, I'm looking forward to that, man. It's you know. So, so, so KK Downing has this new fragrance. Yes, metal for men. Also, there's a lot going on in the metal world as far as these new supergroups that are popping up that are just fantastic. <laughs> that are like, I mean, super. I don't even know if super is the word. Yeah, super, okay? super awful. <laughs> yeah. So, so I think the first we got to lead off with um, Wyland's new band, right? Which yep. he's quit already, apparently, right? Yeah. So, oh. he, so, so earlier this week, that was a good move. <laughs> so earlier this week. Good Scott Wyland, Scott yeah. from Stone Temple Pilots, um, who actually I'm a fan of. I think he's a great singer. I think Stone Temple Pilots are amazing. Nah. Um, <laughs> no, I do. I seriously do. Um, and and so he started this. Jonah, don't leave. Wait, come here. <laughs> yeah, where's Jonah? I want Jonah to go. I'm out. We lost Jonah to go. I'm out of here. Um, and so he uh, started this band called Art of Anarchy. With, um, yeah, I know that it just sounds like a tap out shirt. It, yeah, exactly. And just like I see this, like a, it's just terrible. AOA, it's, don't it's buy short my for album. Arthur. Yeah, and Aww. so it's it's the dude. It's like dude Ron Thale Bumblefoot. from um, Bumblefoot. Yeah, yeah, Bumblefoot guy from uh, Guns N' Roses. Ron Thal. Thal. Ron uh, Thal. Oh, okay. I don't even know. <laughs> That's why they, his I'm name going with Bumble, Bumblefoot's easier to say. So you say Bumble. Bumblefoot. Yeah. The guy, the bass player from Disturbed. Awesome. Which, great, great <laughs> bass wow. player. He doesn't even have yeah. a name. His great name is player. the bass player yeah. from Disturbed. <laughs> Fantastic bass player. And Vince Vada, who I don't even, yeah. don't even know. But anyhow, he announced that he's going to have this new band. And then today, yep. he announced that he quit. Quit. Boom. That's the way to do it. So well, that's it. <laughs> Congratulations. The album's done. I mean, the album's done and everything. Right. So it's horrible. So he's still gonna, he's still got to make money when the album sells, you know, this, yeah, eight, right. 80 copies. Yeah. It's going to go he's wood. Gonna make, right. He's going to make some yeah. money. It's going to go linoleum. Yeah. That's the way to do it, right? <laughs> yeah. So so that's the first one. And then there's uh, we got a few more. There's um Why no? Oh, the why Well, this is actually this this could I'm sure is going to be good, which is Why no? Nick Oliveri. Uh, and Joey Castillo, yeah, and they're called the Royal Demons. That's a bad. So name. that's the, that's yeah. another supergroup which could actually, I'm sure that that'll be better than Art of Anarchy. Way better. Yeah. 
So we're looking forward to that. And then there's some other ones. Too. Um, what's the other one there? We have, uh, was it uh, Doug Pinnock from um, King's X? Yep. So the bass player. Uh, uh, this is even, it's, it's painful for me to even say this. Just say it. Just say it. So it's, <laughs> it's Doug Pinnock, <laughs> George Lynch oh. from Dokken, yeah. oh, and, yeah. and the drummer from Korn. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. 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 I don't even know. I can't, Which drummer uh, from Korn? I don't even know. I don't the even know the one. name of the band. The, the Terry Bozio was in Korn for a moment. What? No, no, yeah. it wasn't Terry. It's not Terry Come Bozio. Come on. No, no. It's, it's I, would, new, I would never call Terry Bozio the Terry Bozio the drummer of Korn. I'm just saying. The drummer of Korn. Well, you heard about that story. Terry quit after he did the audition. He his kid wanted him to do the uh, yeah. audition for Corn, and he's like, "Ah, I never heard them. I'll do it." He did it, and he came back. He's like, "No, nope." nope. Yeah, that's yeah. like that's like Chuck D, the yeah. the singer for Anthrax. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's a, that's a gigantic nope. <laughs> so, and then and last then one, another one. Well, there's two more. We got yep. Sweet and Lynch. Okay, Wait a second. Which, that's the name of the band. Yes, that's actually the name of the band. Might, Sweet and Lynch. Might, <laughs> wow. Mike, Michael Very Sweet, creative. George Lynch. George Lynch is just everywhere nowadays, apparently. Good thing. Uh, yeah, so <laughs> <laughs> that's another one to look out for. But then the final, we saved the best for last, yeah. which is, uh, did you write it right down? What's it called? Was, uh, Doug, no, what was violent it? Revolution or oh, something? Vi- yeah, Violent Revolution. Uh, and it's Vinyl? No, Violent. Oh, I mean, Violent. Something like that. <laughs> that's um, vinyl. It doesn't really matter. Yeah, it doesn't because, it's, <laughs> they're all the same. Is it a record store or a band? <laughs> I was going to say, everyone's going to be looking for this record, so yeah. don't mispronounce what it is. I mean, they call it Tap Out. <laughs> <laughs> Fap out. Yeah. Fap out. Jack Blades oh. from Night Ranger and Damn Yankees. So right there, I mean, oh. pro, on. pro, um, super group, super Doug, group. Doug Aldrich, who's the guitar player in White Snake that nobody knows, right? And uh, Dean Castronova, who oh. played with Ozzy in Journey. Shoot. So that's the other super group. So all these bands are going to tour together. Yeah. And it's going to be, just be amazing. It's just going to be like, you know, suck fest. You know? <laughs> that should be one show. No, no. Yeah. They just all like so play the same state, that, state fair fest. And, and uh, the whole thing will be sponsored by K.K. Downing's Man Perfume. <laughs> man, it's terrible. <laughs> which I wish we had some. We should We're going to get some. We'll get some. Yeah. We'll get K.K. Downing on the show, man. You know, yeah, I don't. I don't wear cologne, but I might start now. <laughs> you well, you wear can cologne. wear some of his Polkari sweat. <laughs> yeah, that, just to get in the yeah, get in the game. Exactly. So, um, a lot going on. Yeah. So, so speaking of KK Downing, um, there is this new um, program for uh, to actually sign up to have like an invisible girlfriend. This is KK Downing. You know, <laughs> that was a good uh, <laughs> nice segue. Good segue, right? Yeah. So, you, th- there's this new app uh, where you can actually create. Um, your own boyfriend or girlfriend if you are like super lonely and you want to be that guy in the bar who's just like pretending to text somebody and looking cool um, <coughs> it's, new, it's new reason it's to buy a phone so <laughs> I signed up for it oh, and man. yes this, and, <laughs> and you, do you feel fulfilled so the, far it is how's, so how's the relationship going yeah. so far <laughs> it's actually pure lunacy nice. it really is so it's like having a real girlfriend oh yeah. <laughs> Actually, 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 it is because I'll tell you why. So, <laughs> did she ask you to meet her parents yet? <laughs> it's, I can text her that. Nice. Wait, so they have I, numbers for them? Yeah. No, so, so you sign up and it, it, you go through this whole like list of like what kind of girlfriend do you want? What color do you want her to be? I swear. <laughs> what? Like, yeah. What kind of you know, what race or whatever? Sort of a, a beige uh, brown. Yeah. No, seriously, it's like yeah, it's it's ridiculous. Uh, this you can name her. Vaguely racist. It's, it's, you know, it is. It is. Okay. So that's terrible. So. <laughs> So my girlfriend, uh, her name is Bianca Ozzy. So, <laughs> so wait, wait is, did, it, is it who, who named her? Yeah, is it is it randomly did, did generated? Did you name her? No. Do you okay. get to name her? Yeah. No way. Yes. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so that's also what's tattooed on her knuckles. <laughs> so um, wow. so it asks you like wait what she's into. I said reading, pornography, blah blah blah, that kind of thing. And so like, what are you into? So you do the same thing, which is ridiculous because. It's pretty much what am I into? <laughs> Twice. Yeah. Yeah. So you're texting yourself. Perfect girlfriend. It's yeah. ridiculous. Yeah. Exactly. Wow. No. So I was like, okay, I'll try this. So yeah, what happened was, was... Do you have any arguments about deflated balls yet? <laughs> yes. So the first text I got was, hey, Douglas, this is Bianca. How are you? I was like, these nuts. And this I just is, wanted, and, I was trying to, I was trying to break the out. ice? Just break the yeah, ice just, right away. Yeah, Doug, like, Doug trolled his own fake golf. <laughs> 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 Actually trolling myself. You trolled yourself. Yes. <laughs> But it's a real number. It's not like so. It's really odd. That's some sort of weird Ouroboros she's, thing. Yes, like so, you yes, trolled yourself. Exactly. Right. And so she's she responds, "Okay, well, I'm good. So what's going on today? So now who is who is responding? Is it? Well, so that's what we're trying to figure out. Okay. So I said, "Yo, let's meet up tonight for beers and some pillow talk." <laughs> <laughs> so she responds, 
I'm busy tonight. Do you, have, do you have any plans this weekend? I said, I like chicken wings. Do you like chicken wings? And she goes, yes, I do, but I prefer chicken breasts. Oh! oh wow. wow. What? Saucy. What? Saucy. So I was like, okay. Wow. So now I know that it's got to be somebody behind this. So I was like, pass the Seahawks. She goes, pass, of course. Who do you like? And I said, are you naked? <laughs> she said, nope, not naked. How about you? And I said, favorite book? So now I'm trying to figure out, like, yeah. if she's really You didn't, answer, you didn't even answer the question, man. I know, you're not well, answering well, yeah, the no, question. I'm, I'm trying to figure out what's going on here, yeah. what's, what the deal is. It's, it doesn't make any sense yeah. why I'm doing this. I want a job being somebody's fake girlfriend. This yeah, is, this is I like want the, a, I want to, I want to dull this out is these a, texts. And this is kind of like the movie Her. Yeah, exactly. I was just no about to say that. But also, but, like, the chicken for Burger King, like, that you could use. Oh! Like, <laughs> that's exactly what it was. <laughs> that was amazing. Yes. That what, was was actually, it what was it called? Uh... Respondent chicken. <laughs> yes. Yeah. No, this is actually good because that was the best viral yeah. campaign for like, Burger King. You can make so, him do whatever, and, yeah. then, and then when he gets offended, he'll just he just won't goes, do it. Yeah, no, he'll, he'll probably, he, he comes up to the uh, to the camera and he goes, "Yeah, right." His finger That's waves his finger. finger naughty. What, yeah, the, what was that called? I, I can't remember what it was called. Something chicken. Something like. Uh, so so it's, anyway, you got this. Yeah, yeah. Have the, so now time. you have now you're in a fake relationship. <laughs> uh, <laughs> well, listen, that's the story of my life. <laughs> at, least, at least she's a Pats fan. So, yeah, so, so far, there's, so no good, photo, right? there's no photos or anything, right? She, she, she doesn't exist. Well, so I was going to text a photo or try to get something going, but you guys were saying that you think that it might be like somebody behind this or like well, people. Well, you I think I saw something on TV about this where there is a company that's doing this. I don't know if it's the same thing, right. but they have people that they employ that they respond to. Like, you know, there's a whole bunch of people, and so someone gets assigned to you, and they are like your fake girlfriend. They'll respond to you. But I'm just like, I don't really understand what's the end game of this. I mean, are you going to end up banging her? I mean, you know, well, that's she doesn't exist, so right? That's, yeah, so it, I, I think it's just for, like, lonely dudes. It's just, like, lonely, like, people who just, like... Subservient chicken. So, Sub yeah. Subservient chicken. I like the fact so that, you, that you can name her, though. That's yep. good. So it's basically, good. like, the new phone sex. It's... Well, it's not phone Evidently sex. not, because she she is not interested in his uh, <laughs> yeah, she's not, advances. Yeah. No. <laughs> what I'm saying is, what I'm saying dude, you better, dude, if, he, if she breaks up with you, forget it. Dude. I mean, <laughs> oh, I should text her that. I'm going to text her. All, Please don't break up with me. No, I'm going to text her and break up. <laughs> don't throw dude. me in the briar patch. <laughs> I'm just what? saying, like, you used to call a 1-800 number, and then it'd be like, what are you wearing, you yeah. know? No, no, no one did that. What, what's this, you did what's this? the name of it? What's it called? Anyway, what's the name of the actual thing? Fake Girlfriend? Is that what it's called? I think it's called Invisible Girlfriend. Invisible Girlfriend. Yeah. Well, okay. Yeah, well, that's it. I might, that's I might it. have to that's check it out. I mean, uh, I mean, you know, having a real girlfriend is hard enough, man. I can't imagine <laughs> should we, a uh, <laughs> Should we plug this site? or It's like, no. it's like a video no. game where you, you watch it yourself. <laughs> Invisible girlfriend, look yeah. it up, I guess. You right. know you're the king troller when you troll yourself. You can, yeah, he yeah. troll himself. Yeah. It's that's amazing. Unbelievable. It, unbelievable, no man. No pictures? They didn't send pictures? Can you ask her to send pictures? See they right, have I'll do that. I'll, I'll ask her to send pictures. Uh, we're going to need an update <laughs> next week. Yeah. Well, I, I just told her I'm breaking up with her. <laughs> so I'm going to see if she I need a picture. Really? No, you didn't. He's, he's, he's the Scott <laughs> Wyland of this I just, relationship. I just wow. broke up with myself. He is. Doug is the Scott Wyland He got a girlfriend, and then he just was like, oh, I'm done. Yeah. Anyhow. That's I realized wow. I couldn't handle this. Invi invisible girlfriend. <laughs> Too much responsibility. It's yeah. pretty crazy. Wow, man. Good My work. My thumbs are sore from texting. <laughs> yeah. Good yeah. work. <laughs> Was it good for you? Yeah. So I have a couple other things. I don't know if you want to keep going with this. Or what are you thinking? What are you thinking right I'm now? I'm thinking we can, you know, we can do one more, and then we'll get into this new right, Murcielago track. All right, gonna, oh, right. I like the Murcielago track. Um, so what's, what's, next, what's next on our uh, you're not set list here, man? So in pornography, sometimes they have this one kind of porno called squirting. <laughs> Which I don't know if you guys are familiar with. I've never with. heard of it. Okay. I have. <laughs> so, can you, can you describe what happens with, with this? No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, Not so, legally. <laughs> so, French scientists, actually, they actually did, like, a, you know, a study on this. And they, oh, the French. Yeah. yeah. The French. It's like the sources, but yeah. the French scientists. <laughs> um, or a man from Florida. So, they, they, Florida they actually man. did it. <laughs> they, Florida man did a study yeah. on squirting. They oh, did yeah. a study on squirting, and they found out that um, instead of... <laughs> <laughs> Vaginal juice is coming out. Yep. It's actually, um, it's actually just... It's, it's urine. It's piss. Yeah, yeah urine. It's actually... Yeah. Oh, I, yeah. I, I kind of always thought that's what it was anyways, but... I thought it was lemonade, but I guess yeah. it's not. You know. <laughs> so this is, this is money well spent. But see, the thing is... I think so. There are lots of other studies that have disputed that, though. Oh. Yes. All yes. right. It's it just very controversial. Urine does not yeah. come out of the vagina, right? <laughs> 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 
for, for a split second, I was like, what? Five dudes just went, I don't know, what? <laughs> just watch some Orange is the New Black and be all set. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> Does it? But, but there's, the thing is, there are, there are pee drinkers. So, you know, there yeah. are people that like this. Yep. A whole subset of humanity. Come on. Yeah. Subset. <laughs> So yeah. some people have no problem with this. Some people are probably happy. Well, they, they, they actually spent money on this stuff. That's fine. I have no problem with that. Okay. I mean, so people are into worse stuff, so it's... That's true. Yeah. I'd rather they spend money on this kind of research than, like, I don't know, developing a new nuclear bomb. You yeah, I totally I mean? agreed with that. There we yeah. go. There is, there is now... A, Navy has, a, has an actual magnetic rail gun, though. Oh, you yeah? You see this? There's footage. No. You gotta see this. Okay. No. It, it fires, like... Wow. <laughs> yeah. you got me with that back yeah. effect. Yeah, the Navy. Please, the Navy, please, please continue. The Navy yeah. is wicked sexy. Yep. But it, it fires uh, magnetically propelled uh, uh, projectiles. Oh, good. Faster Ooh. than the speed of sound, 100 awesome. miles. It, God, yeah. forbid, God yeah. forbid they make a train out of that or anything that would put people, yeah. exactly. would move people from point A to yeah. point B, right? Something that doesn't kill people. <laughs> right. Well, 30 years down the line, after they've already developed it for killing people, they'll yeah, go, yeah. oh, we'll give you a train. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> We'll, we'll give you a toothbrush that can actually brush your teeth in like a millisecond. Yeah. So you can sit and not move at all. You don't have to move your arm. It just... All right. All right. Are we going to move on to some uh, music here? I'm psyched about this. These guys rule. This is uh, you were talking that you played up in Maine recently where these guys are from. And yeah. uh, let's listen to the new Merci Lago track. Merci Lago. The track's called Bulldozer. Yep. Stay tuned. WEMF Radio Show Socks. Show Socks. WEMF Radio. Siri, how can I listen to WEMF on my mobile device? I found the best way to enjoy WEMF radio. Download the TuneIn app from your app store. Then search WEMF on TuneIn. Show socks. Show socks. Yeah, we're back. Snacks. We're back. Guess my, what time uh, it is. What time is snack it? Time. Snack time. Snack time for snacks. You know, I just want to, actually, I just want to clarify something, too. When, when we say snacks, we're just basically talking about any food that you can eat, okay? Because like a, a steak, that could be a snack. Mm -hmm. uh, a pot roast could be a snack. Anything at all. So when we say snacks, we're just talking about food. Yeah, yeah. I wish we had a pot yeah. roast right now. <laughs> <laughs> it, would, it would accompany yeah. our snacks yeah. well. <laughs> all right, so what, the, what, we, the, what we have is almost like a pot roast. <laughs> yeah. What do we got, Jonah? Okay, yeah, Jonah brought in some... Uh, some things here. Yeah, actually, John, what do, you, what do we got here, man? So I went to Reliable Market in uh, Union Square, and I, I bought these uh, two uh, different kinds of shrimp chips. One is uh, the hot garlic, and the other is the wasabi. All right. And we opened the bag. It smelled like the Boston Aquarium. Oh, smells like, no. smells like penguins. <laughs> if anyone could see Jarvis's face right now, he is, he is like, already pale. And uh, they, they basically, these look like French fries, kind of. It smells you like know, fun. Like, like uh, crinkly fries. So yeah. we're going to try which ones, the garlic ones yeah, first? Hot, hot garlic. I hot say. garlic shrimp. How, no, this how, do you, how do you do with hot stuff? Um, not great. <laughs> no, not spicy. No. no. What are the odds? What do we? What do we got the odds in Vegas on uh, Jarvis puking? Basically, if, if it's not a chicken pop <laughs> sub, I'm, I'm just going to well assume that Jarvis is a pro at puking, so he will run out of the room. All right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I will not vomit on the microphone. Are you ready? Hot garlic. Yeah. Right. Let's do it, baby. One, two, two three. three. Oh, that's actually pretty good. No, that's mm. not, that's not that bad. You that's know what? Bad. Oh. What is this? Not, yeah! It's not terrible. Oh! <laughs> They're addictive, I swear. I, I would say that, that, means he loves I would say it. that it, there's not probably a lot of taste to them in general. There's a little bit of... It's yeah. almost like packing peanuts, but yeah. there's a little bit of a fish undertone yep. in there, you yeah. know? No, it's terrible. It smells like a Chelsea brothel. It, it kind of tastes like a penguin's armpit. <laughs> yeah, it's really bad. <laughs> but garlicky. I mean, yeah. but garlicky. Like in a good way. The but garlic you, comes later. If, if you're asking other... me if I would buy a bag of these, yeah. absolutely not. They're cheap, though. They are cheap. But... If someone handed you a bag... It's not... It's not terrible. Yeah. All right, right. now we're going to try the other shrimp chips. We got? Shrimp, shrimp chips. chips. I can't even say it, man. Yeah. Shrimp shrimp chips. These are not garlic or hot. They're wasabi. What do we got? Wasabi. Uh -oh. All right. I like those. All right, let's do it. Uh-oh. Don't try this at home, folks. We're professionals. Mm -hmm. Professional we're pro snack eaters. Yeah. Or try it at home after you've heard the results. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. So oh, these are the, definitely the wasabi. Here we go. One, two, three, go. Yeah. Wasabi is oh, no. Oh. <laughs> no. Oh, man. No. Yummy. These ones are not good. Yeah, like these, these are delicious. <laughs> these ones are good. I like that the wasabi like <laughs> comes later. Yeah. It's you a, know like yeah. when you stick your finger in your belly button, you get yeah. that weird smell? Yep. That's what oh, this is. Oh, God. This is, what, this is what that is. This how is why Doug is using an invisible girlfriend. Yeah. How, <laughs> how could the same company make two together. types of 
snack. Oh, Essentially, it's the same that base. Is. It's the same French fry. Look at snack. Yeah, that yeah. Is and have one be okay and wow. have one be so terrible. Well, I, did, I didn't even bring the standard one. So oh. <laughs> standard. I, I, I so of the, the, two, of the two, you guys are going for the non wasabi. Uh, yes. The, yeah, hot, I like, hot the hot garlic. garlic ones aren't bad, man. Hot, gar- gar- hot garlic isn't a bad band name. I can, <laughs> <laughs> I can see myself, you know, lounging around watching, I don't know, Seinfeld and eating a bag of these. Oh yeah. You know, I've gone through two or three bags. Yeah. There you go. That's, what else we got now, man? We got so this, 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 this is the we're, the we're up in the game. This, this is week. the delicious stuff right here. This is the good stuff. Yeah, it's right. um, it's actually uh, squid strips. Oh. Squid strips. What? Yeah. And we, this, got a, we got a seafood thing going on this yeah, week. Yeah, the ingredients are um, hot pepper paste, yeah. honey, uh, sesame seeds, and squid. Excellent. Yeah. Which I love. All so of. ready for this? Yeah. No. I am not ready for this. And it looks like it's very stringy. Yeah, it it's, looks it like, it's kind of like shredded carrots. Yeah, 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 it looks like shredded carrot. Exactly. Uh, I don't think it's a carrot. I think that's oh, really it good. Smells foul. Oh, smells no. delicious. <laughs> I, I am all about oh, this. No. Yeah, come on. <laughs> no, less. I, I want in on this. Less. I need yeah. less. <laughs> this is really good. Oh, this smells <laughs> bad. All right. <laughs> I'm, having, I'm hanging out with Jonah after this. We're gonna right on. Oh, Are you guys ready? I don't like the texture. Oh, no. Oh, this go. is real fish. <laughs> ready? One. Guess what? You got something in your beard. You got something in your beard. He's going to puke. <laughs> One, two, three. three. I like this. Mm. No. Yeah. Oh. It's just a texture. You guys are complaining that's about the texture. Yeah. yeah, I don't like that's that. That's really good. <laughs> oh, Doug. Doug. Oh, dude, that's nasty, Oh, it's so good. I love it. That is gross. I'd rather eat, like, I don't know what... It's really good. It's really good. You said that. <laughs> it is. It's delicious. I will, I will give it this. It has a pepperoni esque sort of feel. To me, it's, it's, no. like, it's basically squid jerky. I think you guys are complaining more about the, the texture of what it no, is. No, it's the taste. Texture is important. Texture is important. <laughs> texture is important. <laughs> All right. I would All right. eat that. So I'm going to guess I'm, that no, no, nobody here is, uh, considers himself a super taster. No. no. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to just say yeah, baby I'm, Mike. But I like this. Smell your fingers really quick. I grew up I down mean, the Cape. I love seafood. I know. Yeah. It smells like you're invisible. Girl I gotta fight. say that. The, 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 oh, <laughs> man, that's really bad. <laughs> the, smell, the smell is worse I'm than the awful. taste. Yeah. Can, right. can we like close that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 It really smells. All right, I'm about to just kick yeah, everything up a notch. All right, we, ladies and gentlemen, Daryl. Sh- it smells <laughs> like Brockton in here. I have <laughs> fish sausage. Oh, no. <laughs> fish <laughs> sausage right here. What? Yes. What's the ingredients? I don't know, dude. I don't even know. It's I, not even meat. Is I, it? I think it's, there's no no fish or any sausage. No, in that. let's see. Yeah, I was gonna see. say there's uh, no way. There's, there's like a lot of ingredients. So much to read them all. Sausage. Oh, and it, it not, actually it says how to eat fish sausage, which I read before. Okay, okay. the long way. And it says because it is already cooked <laughs> slowly. <laughs> After peeling off the inner film, it can be ready to eat. You know, I like how they tell you you have to peel yeah. off the and, film. Uh, you can the also, inner film? Yeah. Can, how do you, <laughs> is the, is the film on the inside of the sausage? I don't know. Well, I've never. I don't know. Let's find out. We're gonna open it right now. Let's see what we got here, man. I am. Oh, oh no! no. <laughs> this is amazing. It looks like dude. a giant suppository. That looks oh, like a, a to- uh, like a toy hot dog. It is, it is a whale tampon. Uh, you got a picture of it? You got a picture of that? I don't know how. Oh, oh my god. Oh no. <laughs> I don't know how to unwrap it though, man. Is there anywhere you go? Oh there no. There you go. <laughs> Snap into it like a Slim Jim. <laughs> there we go. Oh no. Uh, <laughs> we need video of him opening it. Wait, wait, wait. Him. <laughs> We're going right. to need to cut this up into sections. I mean, right? Yeah, I don't know what's going on. We're fine on. with that. Uh, oh, no, oh, dude. He has removed. Oh, oh, it changes no. color. Dude. <laughs> it changes color. He has removed the inner film. Oh, my God. <laughs> Darren, cut it up into little sections. This is absolutely the most disgusting thing I've ever seen. Describe it. What do we got going on, Daryl? <laughs> it, looks it looks like a raw hot dog. <laughs> it, yeah, looks it looks like, like he's a, like, like a yellow raw But it's like raw really, yeah, it's, it's like... Overly pink. It just, just we don't need to unwrap yeah. the whole thing. Uh, yeah, okay. yeah, I'm just going to cut off like getting worse and worse. Yeah, I'm not eating. Oh. <laughs> Come on, yeah, wait, dude, come on, that. Jarvis. Just take a little bit, Jarvis. How come I got the end? Huh? Have, like my parents used to say, have a no thank you helping. Yeah. <laughs> What's the so, smell, Jarvis? What are you thinking? I, th- Does it remind you of anything else? It kind of smells like a raw hot dog. Okay. Yeah, it smells like sausage. It looks, like, it looks like an eraser. What it's gonna t- yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, yeah, it looks like an eraser. Actually, I can fix my art with this. All right, here we it's go. A pink. Fish sausage. One, here we go. One, two, two three. three. <laughs> oh, we got a puker already. <laughs> Dude, this is gross. <laughs> <laughs> wow, it tastes like liverwurst. Yeah, it tastes like a hot dog. I don't know what this is, dude. No, it doesn't. <laughs> it tastes like liverwurst. <laughs> and we got one. We got one. <laughs> that, was that was terrible. That is terrible. The liverwurst comment got me even worse. I mean, <laughs> to me, you're supposed to put this I with... Can't. It, it oh. might be better boiled. I yeah, yeah. I, like, I, couldn't, I was chewing <laughs> it, I but I couldn't swallow yeah. it. Oh, I and then I did. So, so, that's what she said. Yeah. Yeah. 
Then there's still the thing is that's what Bianca said. <laughs> there's more. There's, there was a package of no, three. No, 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 no. I still have two left. I'm taking these home, man. Oh I'm, All right, there you I'm go. I'm gonna boil them up. I was gonna say fish sausage. Baby. I wonder if you if you actually cooked it, how it would taste. I'll, you know what I'll do? It I'll Fry report it up back. I'll report back. Right. Man. There's like a sign in Japanese: "Don't eat raw." <laughs> yeah. Uh, is that wow, dude. Wow. That, that, that's so. That's our snacks. All right. Let, let's let's okay. grade each snack. Oh, so the man. Uh, what was crap? Crap. The first shrimp chips were the uh, garlic ones. I like awesome. those. Those are decent. I think those. those that was those the best edible. one we had. Yeah. Shite. <laughs> <laughs> and then we went. Then we moved over to the wasabi chips. Yeah. Yeah. Shrimp chips. Not, I wasn't a fan of those. Right? What do we got? Fans. Uh, no. Yeah. Just, just yeah. Jonah sure, likes yeah. that. I'll take it. Mike likes that. Yeah. Nope. Enough. Squid. I like, I like it. Squid. That was yummy. I'm, I'm, dusting, I'm still eating it. I, I want that on crackers. Wow. It smelled, right, so. smelled worse than it tasted. And we all like this, the fish sausage. Right? We <laughs> yeah. all, we all like it. I didn't like, mind it. Yeah. Tastes but, just like it smells. Delicious. Uh, yeah. <laughs> we should have it somebody looks, like It looks <laughs> fake. It doesn't even look like it's a real thing. It tastes right? like wow. fish sausage. Like, like an invisible yeah. girlfriend? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, we should like call up and make out. Should I get like an uh, update on her right now? Oh going. my god! You should wow. ask her if she likes fish sausage. Would anybody <laughs> make out with any of us? After this? Oh no way! No, maybe an invisible girl. Oh boy, we don't know. Mm-hmm. And so, um, so that was snacks. So okay, so that was snacks, and now we're going to move on to some recipes that uh, Mr. Joan Jenkins is going to share with us here. So. Yeah. So I mean, the first recipe really is just how to make a potato. <laughs> All right, and uh, you know, like cook a potato yeah. perfectly. Okay? okay, yeah. So the the key to this is you start out with five pounds of bacon, and you cook up five pounds of bacon, and you harvest. That's a lot, man. Yeah, you know, <laughs> but you harvest the fat, and then okay. you, you can throw the bacon out. You're fine. What? Yeah, no, or you can give it to your friends, or eat it. I'll you say, eat, I'll have well, it. you, you got to save room for the potato. Okay. So after you do that, then you cook a duck. And you cook the duck by cutting the spine out of the duck and putting it skin down in a, in a stainless steel pan, and then you harvest the fat from that. Okay. But you have this nice crispy skin duck. You can like give it to a homeless person, do whatever yeah. you want. It's good. Yeah. You know. But you have the fat. You take both of those. You put them in mason jars. Put them in your fridge. Okay. So the mason jars are full of fat. Full of full ba- of the, the bacon har- and duck fat. You know. Okay. Harvester of fat. That's, yep. that's okay. Yeah. You know. It's a Metallica song. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. So then, then you take this uh, chicken. You roast a chicken. Uh, or you can do it in your slow cooker. Eight hours later, you get a roasted chicken, and then you throw it in your your oven. You you crisp up the skin, and then you take the fat from that. Put it in a mason jar. Put it in your fridge. Okay. You can do whatever you want with the meat. Okay. Once you have all that fat, then you take. <laughs> this is snacks too. So, then you take uh, your potato and you cut it up with a bunch of other potatoes, and you put it in a, in a roasting pan, and you take one spoonful from each one of those fat jars, Ooh. and then you roast it for an hour. That at sounds four, good. At 400 degrees. Salt and pepper, best potato you ever had. Yeah? Wow, I guarantee it. Wow, man. Not okay. even, that's pretty amazing. I'm not even joking. Uh, I bet you're not joking. And then, and then not only that, but then you also have like... A lot. Duck, you have duck and five pounds of bacon. Right. Yeah. Fine. Yeah, Hopefully we, you have a chest freezer. Cause. Yeah, or you can just, you know, have a party and have all this. These exactly. are like snacks. Yeah. So this is all go. to make one potato? Well, with other well, potatoes. Yeah. yeah. You know. It's a lot but, of potatoes. But yeah, one potato is fine, too. It's the one great potato. Exactly. It's a, it's yeah. a cornucopia potatoes, kid. Right. <laughs> in, 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 the, in the spirit of Boston, it's a potato. Yeah. Right. Potato. Yeah. And so uh, you, so is that is that all you need to do? That's that's it. That's, that's all amazing. you gotta do. That's it. It, 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 it only. I mean, you know, roasting the chicken. It's only, it only takes about fourteen hours. You lost yeah. a potato. Okay. <laughs> I was like, what? <laughs> so you, you also have another uh, recipe you wanted to share with some? Yeah. So this is uh, uh, to make a, a bear raccoon uh, koi dog casserole. What okay. is? Yo, what, what's a koi dog, dude? None my mom, my mom used to make this all the time. Yeah. So so a koi dog is. Uh, I know. Pretty much uh, what happens when a, when a coyote meets with feral dogs that live in the same neighborhood. Okay. What? Yeah. They, they, make, right. they make a koi dog. Okay. Right. Never, they make, they make terrible noises in the night. I was thinking of like koi pond. Yeah. The, well, that's a fish. They don't make it. <laughs> <laughs> they end up in sausage. Yeah. <laughs> so what you do is you, you, you first have to have a friend who works at Whole Foods. And your friend has to be vegan. And your friend has to, like... Well, this is no friend of mine, so I don't know. Well, yeah. 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 No I'm kidding. Kidding, they, I love If vegans. you're a vegan, defriend yeah. me on Facebook now. <laughs> they, they have to uh, walk by the cooler and see that the swordfish that was caught earlier and sold the rest of the meat off through Whole Foods, that, that the head is still stuck on the counter in the, in the walk-in. Okay. And then they have to be really, you know, they have to care a lot about animals, and they want to respect the animal, and they have to, like, want that skull on their wall. Like okay. Glenn Danzig. Yes. So, <laughs> so then what they do is they, they, they would have to come to you and say, how do we get the flesh off this skull? Because I need to have that skull on my wall. Yeah. So the way to do that is to get a, a big lobster pot. 
Fill it with about four gallons of water. And while you're at Whole Foods, actually, just buy the most expensive vegetables you can possibly find and throw them all in the pot, too. Like some carrots, some onions, some garlic, all that stuff. You know, use spices, whatever you want, right? So then you just take a ladle and you take the boiling liquid and you spoon it over the head until you cook all the flesh off the head. Okay. Ooh. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'll open your window about yeah. now because it starts to smell <laughs> like way worse in this room. I mean, we're talking ammonia, yeah. especially when the brain starts to cook out. It's yeah. like, it comes out like the eyeball. And the eyeball, by, by the way, has a, an orbital bone that helps, it, helps the, the, the swordfish. You know, it's all cartilaginous, but it's an orbital bone that, that protects the eyeball so it doesn't get crushed with yeah. the pressure of the ocean. Wow. And that falls out of the socket, too. And so then you have this... And this all just smells awful, right? It starts to smell like ammonia and just the worst fishy ass... <laughs> sorry. <laughs> fishy, fishy smells you've ever smelled. Okay. And, and I mean, it, it's, it'll stick in your kitchen for two weeks, uh, believe oh, me. Oh, ooh, nice. Yeah, it's perfect. Uh, uh, I posted great. the photos it, on the show section. Okay, yeah. Nice. <laughs> I, think, I think people will enjoy that. So... <clears throat> What happens is then you take that and, and you get the skull and you pull it out of the liquid and then you have all this, all this you know delicious liquid that smells like ammonia and you, <laughs> you just basically harvest the fat off the top of that, right? And you, you harvest that fat. It's both, mostly just swordfish oil. Okay. And then you take the rest of it and throw it away just because it's disgusting and you can't even eat it. <laughs> yeah. and, then, and then what you do with, with that swordfish oil, because the only use on the planet is to attract bear and raccoon and koi dogs for trapping... <laughs> Wow. You you know, you put it in a trap and then you and, attract those those animals. And then what do you do when you catch those animals? They, well, you, then you can pretty much take any trash that you have and put it in the casserole dish and give it to them because they're not very picky. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. That, well, right on. I mean, I'm, gonna, I'm doing this as soon as I get home. Exactly. <laughs> Again, no, it's only about an eight-hour, ten-hour yeah. process. This is a perfect but, recipe for your Super Bowl party. Yeah, exactly. Yes. Having. <laughs> yeah. Plus, you get to hang out with some koi dogs. You're right. Yeah, uh, I've never even heard of so I learned something today, man. I've never even heard it's of amazing. koi dog. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. Yeah, I have no idea. It's amazing. What, you want to talk about some of the, some of the bands, too, that Jonah's yeah. been in? To yeah. mention some of that stuff, too, you know? All right. So, uh, <laughs> <laughs> he's down. What was the first band? The first, first, first band. Yeah, first, first band that was band? ever in? Ever yeah. in. A graphic eulogy. <laughs> nice. So it was me and Dave Monaghan with a tape machine and nice. Bill Muller. Making stupid noise. B- with uh, Bill Miller? Bill Muller. Oh, Bill oh, Muller. Okay. Yeah, our friends okay. up in Hampshire. Nice. In right a basement. <laughs> Four track. Nice. <laughs> and then I uh, didn't do anything for a while. And then I was in, uh, I, I, I was at a show and I saw this, this band called Blind Surgeon. I was like, yeah. wow, you guys are awesome. Yeah. And they, yeah. need, they need a new vocalist. So I asked, you know, uh, they asked me, if you want to sing? I was like, okay, I'll try it out. And yeah. then I was like, okay, I guess I can yell at least. <laughs> and that was fine. Yeah. I remember Blind Surgeon. It was, yep. it was uh, I left the band because of the name, of course. Uh, <laughs> but then uh, I did the fanzine for a while. I met the, the Formicide guys. Uh, and then Formicide uh, asked me when the Formicide broke up to sing for the new project, which was going to be Only the Witness. Yep. And then um, we had some lineup, cha- you know, lineup change. And then we did a couple records and toured a bit. And then uh, after that, uh, when that band broke up in 95, uh, I hung out with Daryl for a while, and we were like writing some milligram songs. Uh, that was we didn't have a name. Yeah, we just we just wrote, wrote a couple of tunes. wasn't really a band yet. Yeah, anything. it was yeah. just like songs, and we were yeah. looking for a drummer. And then uh, I didn't. Uh, I wasn't sure what was happening with that. And uh, some other friends asked me to uh, play some songs. We wrote uh, some Milltown songs, and uh, basically. Uh, uh, Warner Brothers said, uh, "Which band do you want to be on Warner Brothers?" <laughs> yeah, it's like, well, uh, I, we'll see which one gets the drummer first. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, and then see, uh, so, yeah, Milligram wasn't even a band at that point. Yeah, yeah, so. we had like you know sort of revolving personnel, and yeah, uh, what happened after that was just uh, like I was a professional musician for three months out of my life. It was one of the worst times of my entire life. <laughs> <laughs> We went and recorded an album at Longview Farms, which was awesome. That was about a month Beautiful and a half. Place, yeah. Beautiful, yeah. Amazing staff, amazing like just environment. But uh, yeah, the the they didn't hear a hit. Of course, that's right, the yeah. standard practice. And then mm-hmm. uh, uh, when I told them, okay, then we'll do Milligram, they were like, yeah, no. Yeah, <laughs> you're, you're, you're they just remember you're, that. Yeah, you're just submitting noise. That's just to get out of. Concert. I do remember when we started. We ha- we actually did have a conference phone call yep. with someone from Warner Brothers. I remember this because mm-hmm. we were we were doing we went on tour for like a week. Yep. Right and. Uh, we were just trying to get like a little, very little tour support out of them, yep. like maybe like a couple hundred bucks to help rent a van. Yeah, which and they just would not give us, and they, didn't care. And they just did not care at all yeah. about. And yeah, Warner Brothers just did not care about Milligram at all. Nope, nope. Good. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then that label went under, and yeah. and then yeah. uh, not not Warner Brothers. Uh, it was Revolution. Yeah, Revolution. and yeah. Right. And, right. and it was nice that uh, Larry Jacobson was able to say, "Hey, yeah, okay, you can since since our label doesn't exist anymore, you can just go away." <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yep. So that worked out yeah. for you. So, yeah, yeah. The yeah. best part was I got my public. Back from Century Media. <laughs> there you go. Awesome. That's good news. Yeah, yeah, yeah. totally. You know what's weird? You know what's weird? Uh, I've weird never, level. I've never actually heard anything good. Like friends of mine that have been on like 
you know, major labels or anything. Yeah. I've literally have never heard Same one <laughs> one good thing about yeah, right. being on a major label yep. from anyone. Making music it's, is awesome. Being on a major label, uh, when as soon as it becomes a business, forget yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, it's just bizarre, man. I've seriously have never heard anything good. Like you know, the Stompbox guys just have you know yep. horrible stories about it, and you know, it's just weird, man. Yeah, you the know, SB, weird. SBC guys and all the stuff they went through. Oh yeah, oh yep. man, yep. Across the board, and now yeah. now you're in Raw Radar War, which you've been doing for a while. Yeah, right? quite a long time. It's yeah. just our you know friends we've had for yeah. you know since going to shows since we were 16 years old, and then you know up to 20 years old with us when we met, and then uh, making a bunch of music that we wanted to make our entire lives, and now we don't have to worry about anything else except you know working and stuff. Yeah, so I'm just, sure yeah. Warner Brothers doesn't care about uh, <laughs> zero. Which I, yeah. I, Warner Brothers doesn't care about much right now. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's yeah. Not, that's not about music anymore. Yeah. So but, uh, uh, so so Jonah, I have a question. Um, what's that? Your biggest musical influence. Uh, probably uh, Phil, then Lizzie. Nice. There we go, Phil. Yep. There you go. You, is it Lionheart or Linnet? I, I'd I, say I would I say Linnet. Linnet. Okay. Yeah. I don't I'd want to spark it. any kind of internet war or anything with this. Yeah. You know. a, um, and I, you know, I heard some new Raw Radar War stuff actually oh. not that long ago from Glenn. I think Glenn. Nice. Or oh, maybe you play me. I'm not sure. Well, new stuff yeah. sounds amazing. There's dude. no vocals yeah. on it yet, but yeah, we're working on a new one. Yeah. yeah. Nice. Yeah. It awesome. Sounds sounds pretty amazing, man. It's uh, it, Glenn is a master turd polisher. <laughs> now, just so we're clear, it's Glenn Smith. Glenn Smith, Ants vs. Holmes. Holmes. Yep. Yeah. Yep. And um, uh, any uh, prospective release date on the new stuff or anything? Or uh, like, I mean, it keeps this, getting... this year? Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> I, I, would, I would hope so. <laughs> okay. But you know how life happens. Yeah. Yep. Life happens. Yeah. All right. And speaking of life happening, we're going to drink some sweat. Yeah, this uh, is a Picari sweat. From yeah. I can't Giuseppe, this. So what, what is this again? This is Giuseppe Picari, you know, he's a very famous uh, soccer player that I know nothing about. <laughs> <laughs> and they so they bottle his sweat. sweat. A lot. They, they yeah. bottle his sweat, yeah. I mean, like after practices and they they kind of mix it in with this just to get good flavor and stuff. I, I just want to say like I thought this was going to smell like water and it doesn't. And it's I mean, I, it has a I don't know what it smells like, it smells dude. Like Picari. Yeah. Polkaris. I don't know if I want to drink this. I'm drinking. <laughs> dude, we just ate fish sausage, dude. You, you know? I it's, don't really know what to say about this. You've drank your own sweat before. Yeah, you know what? I, I mean, don't like sweat. Drink sure. somebody else's. It's kind of like, it tastes like flat mountain dew. Oh, yeah. yeah it's an ion, it says ion supply drink. Let me, let me see this bottle. Let me yeah. take a look at this, man. Yeah, I want to take a sip. I just picture like oh. ball sweat. It's like, literally, it's called my glass. <laughs> Pokari sweat. <laughs> yeah. That's what, what it's called. Yep. Pokari this sweat. Mic? It's not good. Is this to Mike? It's not good. Wait, who said that? It's not good. It's not good. It's great. It's really good. It's not good. I just pitch a ball sweat. Look, just, I expected this to taste more Italian than cues. it does. No, it's, I, like it. I think it's Korean. Is it really? Yeah, because actually, it's, it, I was totally lying. I could it's not. Just, <laughs> it has nothing like this. There is no. There is no soccer player named Giuseppe Picari. Exactly. Let me just know. explain that right now between the fish. <laughs> and this ball sweat that I just drank, my mouth is it's just, yeah. yeah this You're is ready to stuff, make out yeah. with uh, Bianca Austin yeah. right now, man. Yeah, 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 we check out Bianca right now. Yeah, we're we're going to need did some you, beers. Did you, uh, you, so you broke up. We're going to yep. go back to your invisible girlfriend now. Yeah. Yeah. So I broke up with her? You broke up with her. What'd she say? Nothing did yet. You, nothing? Nothing? Yeah. She's crying. What's the wow. derivation of the last name Ozzy? <laughs> <laughs> it's Irish. <Yeah>. Okay. <laughs> Can we look, so we have a little bit of time. Can we talk about Bianca Della Garza? Oh yes, just for the heck of it. Sure, right? we have to. Her new show is on tonight. Is she related to your girlfriend? <laughs> yeah, she, she, she might be. Yeah, she's and, amazing. And uh, yeah, she's amazing. And her her new show is on tonight. We have to get her on. Show sucks. So I have the, a contact that's close to her. Oh yeah. So I, uh, I'm, I'm going to try to make something happen. There we go, man. Yeah. Unfortunately, okay. it's her invisible boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe her and Veronica Vane. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Who's, who is that again? I forget. She's the, on, the she's on a big the, media the, push right now, so yeah. I think she would uh, she would probably yeah. at least do a yeah. call in or something. Mm-hmm. So what, so, can you explain what, wait, the, what was she about? She's the, the Wall, Wall Street, Street porn star. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. She's like, I don't want to work on, in an office anymore. I just want to, you know, do yeah, porn. Yeah, come on, my face. Yeah. 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 <laughs> you know? <laughs> She wants to go on her yeah, face. Yeah. Good for her, man. She said so, it yeah. for me. I know. I didn't I say it. I think another, just said it, actually. Another one of her tweets was, if I'm going to take it in the ass professionally, I might as well get paid for yeah. it. Yeah. Whoa. See? I have that same philosophy. <laughs> me too. <laughs> so, That's what it was like being on Warner Brothers. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. So uh, next week, we have um, a special guest coming in. We have Cabby, um, Crazy Cabby from Howard Stern, um, calling in. Sweet. Yeah. It's going to be awesome. Yeah. So, um... Big I'm time, pretty, baby. I'm pretty, I'm pretty psyched about that to see what happens with that. So it should be uh, pretty interesting. That guy's <laughs> actually famous. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then the week after that, we have... Uh, um DX Ferris? DX right? Ferris, who wrote the uh, Slayer 31 and 3rd. Um, 33 and 3rd. 33 yeah. and the 3rd. I can't even think right now. Um, book on Slayer and the Beastie Boys. So I'm psyched about that, too. So yeah. Right on, man. We have some good guests coming up, man. Excellent. Uh, 
We have some other stuff lined up. Yeah. You know, there'll be more snacks. We're gonna have to snacks. try to outdo ourselves. Gonna have a show sucks blimp. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, flying over. That'll be happening during the sock season. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Flying over Fenway. Yeah. We're going to drop fish sausages on Fenway. <laughs> yeah, so gross. It says, it says it, Daryl Shepard's a pimp on it. Yeah. <laughs> it's like that gif of the hot dogs hitting that girl's face. You, know? oh. <laughs> <laughs> you got to post oh, that now, now. Oh, no. Find it. Thank you, Jonah, for coming in. Thank you very much, Jonah. Thank you very much for coming in. I hated it. This sucked. <laughs> honestly, it honestly, worked. really quick, I just want to say, and I'll be a softie, this guy's amazing. Jonah's oh, yeah. amazing. <laughs> He's a huge influence on, on me, personally. Yeah. Did you ever work with Jonah. him ever? I never worked with Jonah, but Jonah did work at a particular uh, record store in my hometown, oh, right, yeah. and uh, he was the first guy to ever play anything from Infetamine, I mean, Reptile, yep. uh, Helmet, <laughs> everything. Uh, a huge. while back. Yeah. So thank you for coming in, so, in all yeah. seriousness. Thank you. Yeah. Right on, it. yeah. Let's, let's celebrate his music career a little bit. Yeah. Uh, we're gonna play a little Only Living Witness, and then right we're gonna on. play the, another Rod Radar War track, and we're gonna bounce out of here. Thanks, right on, guys. show sucks. sucks. Show sucks. Thanks for coming out, but WMF Radio, tune in for uh, some funk. Let's do this. WEMF presented by the Sound Museum.